Recently, I made a video going over the best legendary primary weapons in Destiny 2, and to follow it up, I wanted to go over the best special weapons next. As you guys can see, there are currently 243 different special weapons to choose from in the game, so I wanted to narrow down the list and go over the best of the best kinetic and energy options for each special weapon type. Just to be clear, that means we're going over two snipers, two shotguns, we also have two slug shotguns, two grenade launchers, two waveframe grenade launchers, two fusion rifles, and then one trace rifle, where we're going over the best kinetic and then the best energy options to run. I did also decide to leave glaives off the list. I don't use them too much myself, so I didn't think it'd be fair to go over the best options you guys should be running. Starting the list off right away, first up we have waveframe grenade launchers. These are arguably the best weapon type in the entire game and easily the best special weapons for ad clear in end game content. Currently in the kinetic slot, the only option is new Pacific Epitaph. You guys can farm this from the first encounter in the Ghost of the Deep Dungeon and it is a stasis waveframe. The rolls aren't bad, but they're definitely not great. In the third column, Lead from Gold and Demolitionist are both solid. I would say Lead from Gold is a slightly better option, since you probably won't be running this as a default weapon on grenade builds. And then in the final column, Redirection is my personal favorite. This offers really good increases in damage against anything that is a major or a boss, and you still do really good damage against red bars, but Kill Clip can be another solid option here as well. Moving along to the energy weapons, when it comes to waveframe grenade launchers, the best option is clearly explosive personality. I'm kidding, all the energy waveframes are actually really good, but forbearance is easily the best weapon in the entire game. The perfect god roll for this, which you want to craft, is quick launch, high velocity rounds, enhanced ambitious assassin, and enhanced chain reaction. This gets you up to 96 reload speed in total, and the enhanced perks make ambitious easier to proc, along with more inventory size with chain reaction. You also have the Soul Drinker Origin trait, so as you're spamming reloads, you're getting a ton of healing back. You're also almost always at two shots in the mag with Ambitious Assassin proc if not three shots, and in most cases where you don't one-shot every enemy, Chain Reaction helps add a ton of additional damage and AoE to the weapon. Moving along, I wanted to cover pellet shotguns next. I think shotguns are probably the next best special weapon after wave from GLs, and that purely comes down to the utility they offer. In the kinetic slot, I think currently Swordbreaker is the best shotgun we have. Swordbreaker is a lightweight strand shotgun from the Crota's End Raid. The main reason to use a pellet shotgun in a day-to-day -day activity is because of one-two punch. Swordbreaker being strand and craftable offers enhanced one-two punch, which is slightly better than the base version of the perk, but more importantly, this synergizes with Monochromatic Maestro. So with a strand, Banner of War Titan being as strong as they are this season, you can get an extra 10% damage for your abilities when using Swordbreaker. You also have perks like Slide Shot, Threat Detector, Demolitionist, and Elemental Capacitor in the third column, each of which offer a unique use in different situations. Pugilist is also nice for melee builds for the added handling, and the Curse Thrall Origin trait is great for add clear too. Plus, these can be combined to offer really good add clear while also giving back massive chunks of melee energy. When it comes to energy shotguns, I don't think any one option stands out as easily the best in slots, but overall, I think the Iklo shotgun is the best thing to aim for. Pellets are good for 1-2 punch as I already mentioned, and then second is going to be pellet swapping. Lightweights and rapid fire frames are the two best shotguns that you tend to swap with, which means Iklos is great for both of these two ways to play. It offers 1-2 punch with things like Pugilus, Threat Detector, and Grave Robber for melee based builds, then for swapping you also have things like Vorpal Weapon and Surrounded just for those easy increases in damage. I think Iklos overall gives the best to both worlds when it comes to pellet shotguns in PvE, and if you guys have Iklos craftable, you shouldn't ever really need another option. Slug shotguns are also technically a different special weapon type, in my opinion. In the kinetic slot, I think Heritage is a no-brainer for the best option. This is a great special weapon in general, but then it's also pretty solid for slug swapping damage rotations. Reconstruction in the third column is amazing, and then the only downside is that Focus Fury is more or less your best damage option in a lot of cases. Fortissimo is also another really solid option in my opinion, but you have 12 perks in each column, so the chance that you get what you want is like 1 in 144 odds, and even lower if you care about mags and barrels. Plus, in the third column, we don't have any auto-loading type option. 4 times the charm is the best option here, so overall, I think Heritage is the best kinetic slug option, it's most realistic to use, and it's easy to get because it's craftable. 
When it comes to the energy slots, I honestly think in a lot of cases, first in last out and Nessa's ablation are equally good. But Nessa's is definitely the better option overall, especially for general play. In the final column with Nessa's, you have access to Frenzy and Vorpal Weapon. Frenzy is a bit better if you can manage to get it proc'd before damage, since you get max handling as well, but either way, both are going to provide a 15% damage increase. Then when it comes to the third column, you have Reconstruction, which is more or less going to be the best option to run. Fourth times the charm and demo could also be useful depending on what you're doing though. The only advantage I think Philo has compared to something like Ness's Ablation is that with auto-loading holster, you have the option to reload your slug during DPS, which is especially nice if you swap to your energy slug right before damage, because if you did that with Ness's Ablation, that wouldn't give you any time to have rounds reconstruct. Moving on to snipers in the kinetic slot, I think the best option currently is Supremacy, with Succession being a super close second. Especially with the 15% buff to snipers next season, I think Supremacy is going to have some great uses. For any longer range needs, Enhanced Kinetic Tremors is amazing. You can easily clear adds with just two shots landed, which helps increase your damage a ton. Rewind rounds are amazing for DPS rolls. Lead from Gold is great just for general ammo economy, and we even use Genesis in our Garden of Salvation speedruns because it instantly reloads your weapon whenever you break a shield. Four times the charm, focus fury, and then bait and switch are all solid options too, which can all be used for damage as well. I don't think snipers are the craziest thing to use in the game right now, but supremacy definitely has a lot of uses, even in the current meta. When it comes to energy snipers, I think Distant Tumulus easily beats out most other options. Realistically, I don't think it's overall a good weapon to use, but for DPS rotations, it is the best in slots. With the god roll, you're going to want clown cartridge and firing line, which allows you to get up to 11 shots in the mag with a 20% increase in your damage as long as you're nearby two or more allies. As far as snipers go, I really don't think there's any god roll to use in general endgame content, especially being out of a sniper meta. Unless you use them for a DPS rotation, they tend to go pretty unused. I know a lot of people who don't have the distant tumulus god roll will also default to the Iclo sniper since it's craftable and pretty decent. Next up on the list, we arguably have one of the best special weapon types, which are fusion rifles. In the kinetic slot, I think it's a borderline impossible thing to argue that anything is better than Riptide. Even with the nerf, Chill Clip is still super strong. Riptide also has Frenzy and Vorpal Weapon, which both increase damage by 15% if you were to take this up against the boss. And I also think for some really different roles, Successful warm up is great too. Then in the third column, Auto Loading, Lead from Gold, Field Prep, and even Compulsive Reloader are great options. Not to mention Riptide is also a Rapid Fire Frame, which are the best in the entire game. And if you end up grinding a bit of PvP in a single season, you can easily farm the rolls you want because focusing gives up to three per in each column when decrypting. When it comes to the energy slot for fusion rifles, we have Cartesian Coordinate. Once again, it's a rapid fire frame fusion rifle, which is the best archetype to use. I figure a lot of people are going to tell me that Aramite with controlled burst is better for damage, which is just not true. It's good if you only spam your fusion, which makes it slightly better than a rapid fire fusion, but a rapid fire frame with better handling is way better in swapping rotations, which is what you're going to be doing anyway for a realistic damage setting. Cartesian is a very simple weapon where you want lead from gold and vorpal on your roll, preferably with enhanced battery. The weapon is super reliable, it's easy to use, it's effective in every area of the game, from day one rating to GMs, and the surge synergy with solar is great, with a lot of current meta options for damage as well. Second to last on this list, we are covering Trace Rifles, which only have legendary options in the energy slot. And I think the only Trace Rifle really worth using here is Path of Least Resistance. It might seem like a bit of a hot take, but I think Trace Rifles are trash. They are barely stronger than a 900 RPM SMG, and they come with ammo limitations and usually worse perks. However, they're really great utility weapons when you want to run double special. Path of Least Resistance is currently the only Trace Rifle that can roll with Shoot to Loot. Retrace Path used to drop with this perk, but it no longer does, which makes Path of Least Resistance amazing for things like GMs, where you can run Cenotaph Warlocks or Aeon Hunters and easily collect your ammo. Shoot to Loot is also great for damage rotations, since it reloads all your weapons for you and even collects orbs of power. I just overall don't think Trace Rifles are the best weapon type to use for general play, but again, the utility they can provide as a special weapon far outweighs this as long as you use them in the right setting. 
And then finally, to end this list off, we have Breach Loading Grenade Launchers, aka your standard regular special GL. In the kinetic slot, I think Lingering Dread is an easy winner. Just like most other options, you can run a Lingering Dread roll with Spike Grenades, Auto Loading, and Vort Bowl for DPS rotations, or you can run a Blinding Roll with Disorienting Rounds and Danger Close. Then on top of this, you also have access to Chill Clip, which adds a lot of functionality to the weapon, especially in terms of dealing with champions, which no other GL in the game has. The only other GLs that would beat this out are things like Pardon Our Dust or Ignition Code, which don't really offer too many insane or even different roles. I know some people are very fond of Ignition Code with Slide Shot and Blinding Nades, but it ultimately isn't a very good way to play the game. Blinding GLs are decent, but they haven't really been meta since Witch Queen came out, so I think the roles that Lingering Dread offers cover everything you would ever need and more. Then finally, we have Truth Teller in the energy slot. The main role here is going to be for a DPS rotation, which is Quick Launch, Spike Grenades, Auto Loading Holster, and Quick Draw. This role is great for triple weapon swap damage rotations, especially with Izanagi's Burden and a Rocket Launcher or a Heavy GL. Your handling is maxed out with Quick Draw, damage maxed out with Spike Nades, and you never need to manually reload because of Auto Loading Holster. It is a very simple role, which offers a lot in terms of optimizing your damage against bosses, but ultimately, for most people, I don't even think a triple weapon swap is always realistic or even needed in most cases. That is my list of the best PvE special weapons for each slot in Destiny 2. I know a lot of people always disagree with certain options when I make a list like this, but at the end of the day, I play PvE at a decently high level, and these are all some of the best options for special weapons I've used over the last year or two. Even if they're mainly for GMs, low mans, day one raids, speed runs, and things like that, that content forces you to play the game as optimally as possible, so your weapon choices tend to be the best of the best. Let me know your thoughts on the list in the comments down below, and I do also stream almost every night over on my Twitch. A link will be in the description below if you guys ever want to check that out. As always, have a good one, guys. Peace.